Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is my Victron Multi Plus 2 inverter. This is my Solic 200. There's the Serbo GX that talks to the Victron. I've had a look at the um, at the output from the Victron and at the moment the batteries are fully charged and because it's winter I don't want to cycle them as much because there isn't always enough sun if you draw them down so they can spend a whole week empty or, or not empty but low, as low as you set them. So what I've done is I've set them to keep batteries charged which means they don't discharge they just charge up and they're fully charged and it's just on float right now before i fitted this unit i had this solic to divert the energy that was escaping from the solar panels to the grid but it doesn't like this they don't interact so i want to run an experiment today to see if this is set to keep batteries charged and then in theory won't discharge will this work again so right now we're making about 300 watts of electricity and we're using about 50. So you can see on this meter here, well, it's changed again, something's come on. Either the sun's gone down, either the sun's gone down or something has been turned on in the house. Probably the sun's gone down, just looking out the window there. We're teetering at the edge here and I'm playing at the limits, but I'm expecting more sun today because it's gone very cold in winter with nice clear skies. When this light's solid, it means we're exporting. When this light's solid, it means we're importing. How, how quick this light flashes is how quick we're importing. So over on this fuse board, I have a switch for the Solic. Let's, before I turn it on, let's just check it. I haven't unwired anything. So that's the current clamp for it. It's plugged in through here, through this meter. And I've taken a meter reading already. That goes over to this hot water tank which I fitted last summer before I fitted the Victron. I got this for a pound on eBay and then had to pay a little bit for things like this but probably put 30 or 40 quid into it. More hassle to drive to collect the thing than to fit it I'd say. In terms of time it's more interesting fitting it too. It's running an immersion heater there. It's just a preheat on the hot water coming in hot or cold water coming in from the house comes out hotter and then this goes to the combi boiler to heat up our hot water and the combi boiler can take water up to 60 degrees which i've checked so it's okay so it looks okay to me it looks like it's all switched on or in line let's switch this on so that, that red light's gone on again which means we're exporting again so this solic should then wake up if i haven't disconnected it inside which i may well have done i hope not so it means i've got to do some wiring but if I'm not getting anything out of that solid, no lights are coming on yet, then I suspect I've disconnected the wires inside. Would I have done that? Where do they go? Or have I wired the solid over here? That's also a possibility. Let's turn that one on. Yep, so that one's running the solid. That's a redundant line now. So I better tell myself that that's the solid. Yeah, so the reason I did that was so I could see generation only on this fellow here. I think that was confusing the multi plus before, so I wanted to check that as well. That if this fellow here only had generation, then maybe the solid would work on a separate fuse board. So this is the fuse board for the Victron. Um, power into the Victron, because the Victron just rides the power. It doesn't have its own output. Or I'm not using the output that it has, perhaps. I need to put some stickers on that then. I'll do that now. So that's waking up. The sensor's red. So it should be going through its initiation cycle. Yeah, it's going green on and off. And then we should see immersion flash because this light here is staying red. If you get them both in shot. If that's red, this should go through its wake up cycle and go green. And kick the immersion on. come back in a sec. So I've just had a look at the Victron remote monitoring software in my app, which is on my phone, so I can't record it and do it at the same time. It's running at 160 watts at the moment, basically in and out. So it's very close to the line. It's just hovering over it. So we'll see. We'll see if it comes up a bit more when the sun comes out. The sun should come out a bit better. It's going to come round. It hasn't hit the main solar panels yet. It's only 10 in the morning. So it's only bringing in some residual at 160 watts and clear skies. So we'll see. I better get a pen out and change that and tidy that up. I'll do that now. So this light has gone green. Sensor's flashing, so it's on the, it's kind of on the limit, but the immersion's on with the green light. 
This is still red. It's a cautionary tale there about your stickers and your labeling. So I would have fitted that and said, oh, I'll do that at the end and just didn't come back and do it. Change the stickers that is and label my stickers. So when I fitted this new board, Victron inverter, Solic diverter, and that's the specified switch. Victron says as an isolating switch, use a 32 amp RCD, which is no MCB, 42 amp MCB, which is peculiar, but it works. So that immersion's on now. And if I put a current clamp, this is always the fun bit. Put a current clamp on here should be able to see if it's drawing anything and it should be down to yeah 0 0.07 so well half an amp so that as the sun comes out that should work but what i want to see then is does that interfere with this i don't think it will but what i'm going to have a look at now on my victron remote monitoring software is it's down to 0 0.01, it's, it's almost at the limit. I'll probably do it later. I'll try and catch it on the computer screen on camera and see if the house is just in balance. That would be the thing to do, to check if we're leaving no power out. Yeah, it's gone off again there. And the clamp's down to zero. But as the sun comes out, we should be set up to heat a bit of hot water today. So it's two days later and I've waited for a bit of sun. The day I planned this for it didn't really have much sun. Three lights are on, but the meter it's taking in power. You can see that light's not red. And this light is red, which is showing that power is coming into the house. Now, some issue with this meter, which is a separate one, and if you know what's going on here, you might help. It doesn't want to keep its display up, and that maybe is because it's had the power going the wrong way through it for too long. Uh, not enough power going the right way through it, if that makes sense. It's mounted the wrong way around, so that it measures power leaving the house. And since I fitted the Multi Plus, there hasn't been much power leaving the house. So let's go up to the computer and have a look at what's going on. Uh, let's, let's put this on actually and just have a quick look at that. The current going into the, going into the water heater, six amps. So what's happening here is we're generating power. The Solix identifying that power is leaving the house. It comes on, but then it seems to use more power than it should. 6 amps, 6 amps is, what, about 1.5 kilowatts, something like that, is that right, at 200, yeah, 1.5 kilowatts at 250 volts, so let's go up and have a look on the computer and see what's going on, hopefully the sun stays steady. So right now we're generating 11.33, or thereabouts, the grid is giving us 421, and the AC loads are 15.31. 6 amps is about 1500, so this house draws around 50, 50 watts the whole time. That's its residual, what I would call its residual or its ambient load. That's things like the radio on in the kitchen and the boiler standby and stuff like that. The battery's full, so no power is going to the battery, as you can see down here. It's just idle. So the Solic is identifying that we've got free solar. It's giving all of the solar to the house but somehow that's being supplemented. You can look at this a couple of ways. One is that that's bad and it should only be sending the 1108 there that we have. Or you could say, well, actually, by taking in 500 watts, we're getting three times the value out of it, if that makes sense. I don't know what's right. I, I've never trusted that Solic to work properly, even like even before I fitted the Victron, I thought it was doing something like this some days. I think if you have loads of solar, three kilowatts, then it, it um, you know, if it's a really sunny day, then it works just fine. But anything lower, I, I think it chops it up in a very bizarre way. The Solic is meant to keep the grid roughly around zero, maybe hovering with 50 watts of input or something like that. I don't know what it's set at, but it's, me it's meant to keep it at zero, but as close to zero as possible. 500 watts is not close to zero, but like I say, it's um, it's a balancing act really, isn't it? What do, you, what do you go for? I can just turn it off and then I get no benefit from it, and the 1148, about one kilowatt of it will disappear into the grid. 
because the batteries are full. Uh, the other thing I can do, which I'm going to do now, is turn the washing machine on because I've got so much spare electricity. It'll just work away like that. So I've just switched on the WFP 3300. We'll go in and check on these uh, these gauges and things again. So back in here, this guy's still on. The washing machine really won't make a dent in it unless it tries heating electricity. It's still on six amps, which just doesn't make sense. I can't feel any heat in that, but I don't think it's been on very long. So it's not really getting hot yet. It would take it would take a few hours at half power. Like it's a 13 amp or a, well, what would it be? Three kilowatt, roughly 12 amp machine to get that to heat up. So it would need 12 amps. So it'll take twice as long to heat a tank of water. That's okay. It's probably gonna get another two hours of sun today. So it probably won't heat the water, but we'll get the wash for free. But this thing here, I don't know what's going on there. It's it's just bizarre. So what I'll do is I'll wait until the end of the day and see see what I can see on the the Victron energy monitoring display. I won't show that in the video. I'm going to wrap it up here, but I've got it back on the Solic and it seems to work. Well, it's, it's working in that it comes on and it's not drawing power from the batteries because they're just set to keep batteries charged, but it is still doing this bizarre thing where it's drawing power. It's drawing power from the grid at the rate of, in this case, four amps now. So four amps are coming from the grid, so in that case, in theory, two are coming from the solar. Which one's the solar? This one here. So we clamp on. Five amps from the solar, and that, I guess it's gone up because the washing machine's on. So I don't know. I do not know. It's a bit of, that Solic's always been a bit of a mystery, and from the comments on the previous Solic videos, a lot of people seem to find them a bit of a mystery, and as soon as you have an issue with it and you email Earthwise, Earthwise products, they give you radio silence on the technical end. They're all help until you purchase it and then you're out of luck. I don't know if anyone's tried to return one and I'm not really, I'm more interested in figuring out how it works, but these white Solics, the black Solics apparently were, had dip switches in them and you could modify them slightly or, or finesse them slightly, but the Solic 200, the white one, the newish one, or the one that's available at the moment, I don't know how good they are. They should be like a silent servant, but in this case, if this light's flashing, it means we're drawing power from the grid, and at the moment, it's flashing. So, questions or comments, leave them below. So it's maybe 15 minutes later, and we're still doing one kilowatt from the inverter. The house is drawn 700, 800 watts, and the rest is going to the grid, 200 watts there. I'm just gonna go down to the cellar and have one last look, and it'll still be a mystery. So for one reason or another, this has gone red. This is also red, so we're kind of at an equilibrium there, but really it's exporting, I think, because we know it's exporting because we saw it on the display upstairs. The Solic has gone off, the sensor's red, which means it thinks we're not, we're not exporting power. It's stone cold, so I can't imagine that the thermostat in there has tripped. So I really don't know about this Solic. Really don't know. Uh, questions or comments, as before, leave them below. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later.